A lot of things you see on the internet about the fair DUI flyer and about standing up for your rights talks, shows people demanding their lawyer. Like, I want to talk to my lawyer. You do have a right to an attorney under the U.S. Constitution, but it's a very, very specific right that only applies in certain situations. So, for instance, there's two separate rights to an attorney. You have a right to have an attorney present during a trial. Okay, and you have a right to a, a, a court-appointed attorney if you're poor enough and you're facing jail time in the state of Virginia. But we're talking about your right to have an attorney while being interrogated. That's a completely different right than your right to have an attorney during a trial. Your right to have an attorney during your uh, interrogation kicks in if you're in police custody and you're being interrogated. Those are the two things that have to happen before your Miranda rights, or your, uh, which includes your right to an attorney, kick in. Being in police custody means being arrested or being in a very restrictive form of, of custody. So just being pulled over on the side of the road generally isn't police custody. If you're pulled out of your car, you're handcuffed and thrown in the back of a cop car, that's a little bit closer to police custody. It's a little bit of a gray area where exactly police custody kicks in, but it, when you get arrested, almost always kicked in by that point. And an interrogation is when any time an officer asks you a question, this is a very broad definition, so if an officer asks you pretty much any question about the criminal charges they're investigating, that's an interrogation. So the officer asks you how much have you had to drink tonight, that's an interrogation. And the officer asks you well, what were you drinking or how do you feel, that's an interrogation. Even if he's asking it in a very friendly open, honest way, not, you know, shining bright lights in your eyes and threatening. Interrogation is any time they ask you questions, the purpose of which is to investigate you. So if you're in police custody and an officer asks you questions, then you have a right to an attorney. However, in order for the, the police to be forced to leave you alone, you have to specifically ask for your attorney. And you can't just say, uh, I want an attorney, you have to be very specific. You have to make it clear, unambiguous, that you want an attorney during the interrogation, not your trial. So if uh, uh, somebody says, shouldn't I have an attorney, or I'd be more comfortable if I had an attorney, it's a gray area and lots of times it doesn't apply. Your rights haven't kicked in. You have to specifically say, I want an attorney during this interrogation and any future interrogations. You have to be exceptionally specific. Uh, some of the case law in this regard is not particularly favorable to defendants. So you have to be extremely specific and you have to realize that that only protects you during custodial interrogations. Because of this, officers, smart officers, don't do any interrogations after they take you in custody. They do your interrogations before they take you in custody. So if I pulled you over on the side of the road, and I'm just talking to you, either through the window or when we're doing the field sobriety test, as a, that's not an in, uh, in custodial interrogation. So it's not until you've been arrested or handcuffed and put in the cruiser, then that kicks in. So the officers, the good ones, ask their questions before they get to that point so that your constitutional right to have an attorney present hasn't kicked in yet. However, if you ever want to make it clear that you want, uh, don't want them to talk to you, you don't want to answer any more questions, you don't want to be interrogated, and you're in police custody, ask specifically for an attorney during the interrogation. Say, I want an attorney present while I'm being interrogated. And if you say that specifically and unambiguously, then the police officers have to cease and desist all custodial interrogations. It's a powerful tool, but you have to use it right and you have to use it specifically. So merely saying, I want an, a lawyer, isn't good enough. You have to say, I want a lawyer while I'm being interrogated in police custody. And then you also have to realize that this right does not kick in until you're both in custody and you're being interrogated. If you're just in custody, you don't have a right uh, to have a lawyer present. If you're being interrogated but you're not in custody, you don't have a right to have a lawyer present. You can remain silent. You can always remain silent. But your right to have an attorney present hasn't kicked in yet. So remember, it has to be a custodial interrogation. 
and you have to specifically demand to have an attorney present during the uh, interrogation. And if you do that, then they have to shut down the custodial interrogation.